Minnesota, Minnesota is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Terrapins have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. They go to the air and pick up a couple. It's a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal game. Got hit and still completed it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38. Well, the defensive line has to do a better job there of feeling that screen out. And a lot, a lot of times the offensive line will dictate whether or not it is going to be a screen pass or not. And when they feel and sense the offensive lineman releasing out to get out in front of the screen and to be able to try to make a play downfield, again, the defensive line is the key for any defense and being able to slow down the screen. That brings second They make the stop around the 43-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 41. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. And they get nice yardage on that run. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And he's taken down the 38-yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Maryland is looking to go up by three. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle made the 42-yard line. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if a defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 50. That makes it second and two. by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. Short over the middle. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Throws 
complete. He's hit right away. They're about four yards away here on second down. He tackles him for a loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. All day, baby, all day. And two. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Maybe got two feet on the play. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end. So they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Minnesota is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. They try the right side. He fights forward to about the 26. Completely stopped immediately. That's a game of seven. Third down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, run to the mic. Watch one. Watch one. Go. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 43. That's a game of six on the play. That brings him second and five. Nice run there. That's good for a game of seven yards. First down. Got a man, watch out here. A pick up a five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Second and five. Ball on the 45 yard line. Right around the 48-yard line. So at the end of one, and this one's knotted up at three. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Mike one, Mike one. He throws left, and it's incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. So now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's tackled at the 15. A two-yard run by the halfback. Two yards. 
That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. That makes it third and 15. They line up at the eight. It's third down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Slings it. Brought down at the 10 yard line. That's good for him. That'll make it fourth and 14. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 50. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Second and 10. Ball on the 50. Got it, but they're going to lose yards. He will tackle immediately. And they lose a couple there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's incomplete. And here's the rim at the up back sky. Tackle made at the 48. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They hand it off. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. From the 49-yard line, second down. They go to the air and pick up six. Well, anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. From the 43-yard line, third down. And he just gets rid of it. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. He punt. No, he faked it. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, first down. Down he goes, around the 35-yard line. That's a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Roger, Roger. 47 right, 47 right. Right, 47. I got you. I got you. And he's got the junior. And he's hit immediately. It's third and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. Go. 
He makes it to the 25-yard line. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. toss play here but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled you got to give them credit for making a great play the defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time let's see what they do this opportunity it's important for this offense to re-establish their continuity the last time they were unable to move the ball down the field in fact they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down they get the football back let's see if they can re-establish that confidence a minute left in the half He's on the run, and they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. Maryland's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Now he's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. hit before it could go anywhere. He scrambled. Scrambling around. And they got it. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So they're going to go for it here. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. And he might want it all here and does. It's going the other way. We played a half of football. 3-3 three, three tie. first half hopefully the second half is good he just drills this one and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away both sides seem to know what to expect he's gonna try and scramble Excellent open field tackle. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Sacked on the play. That'll make it second and long. Come on! So the sack makes this a second and long. Dog four! Orange He's gobbled up in the backfield. Let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 
Dog four. Gets rid of it quickly. Throws complete. He's got room to work. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Minnesota. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback, so the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. Minnesota gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Gophers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. That makes it second and 14. From their own 21-yard line, second down. They give to the tailback, and they hit him in the backfield. He's under some heat. He wants it all going long. Almost intercepted. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 45-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 46-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 33. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Minnesota up seven points. Here he goes. Around the 21 yard line. how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. Minnesota can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. 
It's up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they've played. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up to capitalize on this possession. Throws in a hurry. And it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball of the 25. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. has it the safety and he's tackled after positive yardage you love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks which is exactly what the safety did so now both teams come trotting back out onto the field Draw, tackle in the backfield. No gain. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He gets to about the 24 yard line. a great tackle at the 21 and he gains around three on that keeper you won't break or bend this linebacker he won't miss that tackle too often it's second down seven to go ball on the 21 yard line let's go let's go hey we got mike number 53 mike 53 red two <laughs> zipped it out and that was almost picked off Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Let's go, let's go. Here we got He's scrambling. Tackle at about the 17-yard line. Gaining four yards. That brings up fourth and three. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks up, and it is good. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. The Golden Gophers with a 13-point lead. The Minnesota is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Minnesota's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Well, the execution here is very good by the offense. The quarterback did a nice job of reading the defense and put the ball in a position to be able to make the catch. The problem is the wide receiver did not focus and concentrate and hold on to the ball. Brought down at about the 21. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Here we go. Oh. 
He rifles it to the left. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number six. He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40. Nice yardage on the run back. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Runs outside for a nice game. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. That makes it more than eight. And they're coming after this punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. Less than three minutes in the game. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. Number one with the tackle at the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. And they make the stop at the 20. That makes it first and 10. Three down. Two and eight. This one's going deep to the end zone. Incomplete. And this is the 10th play of the drive. That makes it second and 10. Reach out. Close that. It's on four. Motion, motion, motion. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So the sack makes this third and very long. Watch the run, watch the run. Here we go, oh, here we go, oh. And they got it. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. 
He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From their own 23-yard line, first down. Just under two to go in the game. Makes it out to about the 33. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. Maryland just took their first time out. Makes it to the 41. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Maryland's called their final timeout. Out to around the 45. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is just on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Gets out to around the 32. From the 32-yard line, first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. The Terrapins, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.